Do you think also of Chicharito joining the MLS? That no, it's, Chicharito it's, Vela, right? We always said when the league first started that you know, when it first started, we were looking at bringing you know, stars that um, were at the end of their careers and bringing them to MLS. Now you're looking at MLS going and getting stars in their prime and bringing them to MLS. Now that changes the game drastically. For the niños, the eh, niños is the most important thing because the niños are the future. Es importante que eh, tenemos el tiempo para ellos, eh, para jugar con ellos, uh, para entrenar con ellos, porque ellos son el futuro del juego. Como, como un atleta es importante porque quieres eh, ver tus hijas eh, jugando, divirtiendo, eh, pero como padre es más importante ver mis hijas que, que tienen un, un gran sorriso cuando están jugando, que están parando siempre. Eh, como padre es más importante. Well, it happens in increments. And I think that's, a, that's something that uh, I think a lot of coaches at the youth level and parents at the youth level miss because they try to, uh, they believe that through yelling and intimidation is how they make kids tougher. And that's not the case. You make kids tougher by teaching them the game and understanding that repetitive behavior to the point where it becomes second nature to you, that's where mental toughness comes from because you rely on your training. So with, with, any, with any athlete in any sport, can you give a message to the kids to kind of persevere through the false teachings they patience. may be giving? Patience. Patience, patience, patience. Just do the work. And the more you do these things over a period of time, the better you'll become at them. And there's no amount of yelling or screaming, and that's, that's going to make up for that. I've had a couple come across my desk. I just haven't really seriously considered them. Just depends on the terms, I guess. I mean, anything can kind of make sense if the deal makes sense. So we'll see. Yeah, would that be a, a something that would impact you or attract you more than NBA ownership? Um, doesn't matter. I mean, it's it's a, it's a it's not a it's not a short answer. Yeah, you know, yeah, there are a lot of factors to consider when you're talking about owning a franchise and a lot of points to look at. So more complicated than that. Really cool. I mean, when we first started out with the company, I mean, it was a, you know, we, it was a struggle, right? And so uh, to be able to build something from the ground up to the point where we can have a day like today, you know, a partnership with MLS, who's you know upcoming celebrating their 25th season, uh, who've also grown from the ground up. You know, coming to this United States market with the game of soccer, everybody was kind of like, eh, I don't know if it's going to work. Um, but to see how far it's come so quickly and to be able to partner with them is uh, it's an amazing thing. Well, they're our future. Right? It's important to invest in them. You know, they have dreams, they have uh, ambitions of being a you know, future MLS star. It's important that we invest in them and educate them.